Hello there. Um, just so I'd tell you this quickly, um, 8 o'clock at night, I've just left a well-known supermarket, um, well, Asda, because I've had a bit of a complaint. Um, not about Asda themselves, although you could argue that they were bellends for getting the contract anyway, um, but basically went home today to find that I'd been charged £70 to park overnight at Asda, which I sort of live about a mile away. Yes, I know, but I could walk there probably instead of use my car, but come on, I'm fat. Um, yeah, so they'd got photos of me arriving at 6.30 in the evening and leaving at 10 to 7 the following morning. Assumed that I'd stayed there overnight and wanted to charge me £70 for the privilege. So I wrote an appeal, but then I wasn't particularly comfortable with the 28 day waiting period. So I thought, I oh, know, I'll just ring them up. So I rang up Asda and um, they said, come back, come down. They admitted it was ridiculous, to be honest. I won't mention the woman's name, um, but she said, yeah, it is a bit ridiculous. We're getting loads of complaints at the moment in all of our branches saying that, um, people have been charged when some people go into Asda before work and come into as go into Asda after work and they do that every working day so they're choosing evening arrivals and morning departures and putting two and two together and coming up with bollocks um, so the woman said over the phone yes you can come and bring in the piece of paper and we'll cancel it but just this once. So that got to be thinking about what happens the next time. Are people not allowed to go into the shops twice in one day? I mean, I've always thought that it's not good because it makes you look like a dick. It makes you look like you've forgotten something. But that's normally if you've gone in and then you go back in about an hour later. But yeah, does that mean you're not allowed to go into shops um, twice a day? I don't know. The woman at the counter is very pleased, um, very, very pleasant, um, thanked her and all that. But it just got me to thinking, well, are they, what, they, they're either not making much money so they've decided to start making money by doing this, or maybe maybe they're trying to encourage people to actually plan better and, pre and prepare their own meals. There you go. Um, I suspect not, though. So, yeah, just saved 70 quid. Um, be aware of it, though. The um, parking company is called Parking Eye. And what the woman did say is that you tend to have a problem if you leave by the same place that you arrived. Well, if there's only one friggin' entrance, what are you meant to do? Fly over there? You're meant to go hedge hopping? Can you remember hedge hopping when you were a kid? So, yeah, if you leave out the same entrance, then the computer, or whoever analyses it, seems to think that you've been there since June. So, bit of a warning, if you get caught, don't say I didn't warn you. Um, well, you can say that because obviously I can't hear things on here. But, yeah, brilliant. I'm in a really good mood. Um, yeah, really good mood. Um, it's going well. Things are going well. I do like it when it gets dark now. You know, I feel a lot more relaxed when it's when it's evening. Oh, there's a little cat walking past. Yeah, I do feel a lot better now. You know, it's dark in the evenings because that's natural, isn't it? Dark and evenings go together, don't they? <laughs> So, um, yeah, just be aware, if you're parking in Asda, the company that they've got the contract is called Parking Eye. Um, and, yeah, just be aware that... So, as I say, they'll let you off the once. I've got a piece of paper saying they've cancelled it. They'll let you off the once. It took about ten minutes to write cancelled on the piece of paper. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen the second time. But I'll tell you what's going to happen to me the second time. There ain't going to be a second time. Asda, you've lost half of your business from me because I aren't going there. And I said to the woman, this means today I've been here twice. I came in the morning um, to get some cider and apple sauce to go on some pork that I had. And it was absolutely not very nice. So it's in a little jar, in a little jar. It looks posh, but it actually is bland as hell. So I said to the woman, can you just sign something to say, I know he's been in here twice, but it is a good reason, honest. And she said, no, because it isn't analysed here. So there you go. I might even get done 
for spending all day in Asda, even though I haven't, by going back in to try and sort out the fact that I haven't spent all day in Asda. So there you go. Um, have a lovely evening. Um, I'm going to. Well, it's nearly over now, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully I'll get home by the time EastEnders has finished. Um, because that Stuart thing's getting right on my nerves. He, he tried to do it himself. He's trying to frame Mick. Get over it. Turn the telly off. Um, read a book. But yeah, brilliant. Have a lovely evening. Um, take care. Watch Asda. Go to Tesco instead because I think they've just got dodgy security. No, they haven't really. I shouldn't have said that. No, but their security is a little bit strange sometimes. Um, yeah. Have a good one.